Hey guys, today I'm going to show you my session of the rifle sound design made with microwave sounds from the last week's video. We did with Jack Wise or Vice, I guess Wise. So without further ado, let's go. Here we can see the session and uh, what sounds I've used. We have bips and runs, motor servo rotation, open, close, glass impacts. That's basically it. So let's hear how it sounds without uh, any plugins. This is my channel strip. As you can see, all plugins are off. Uh, I have three auxes. Every sound is going to the master track. Some of them are sent into the aux buses. And on the aux buses I have, as you can see, some reverbs, some uh, more fancy plugins like vocal synths. Let we get to this. Uh, first of all, let's do it sound by sound. So first sound is loading sound. This is done with bips and run. It has fade in and slow down at the end. And what is done here is a little alter boy. Automated, as you can see. Going up with the pitch. And it's also sent on the bus 5. And the bus 5 is the fancy one. So we have Manamarokin Tone Shaper. And it's making it more uh, harsh, I guess. Next one we have Decapitator. With Punishing on, as usual. Next one, as vocal synth. And this plugin is giving the sci-fi character. And last but not least, Money Markings Reverb from Waves. And this is it. Of course, we can spend more time looking at vocal synth. I've used CompuVox, TalkVox, and PolyVox. Uh, transform effect is on. No, uh, no correction. You can watch my vocal synth video on my channel. The link will be uh, somewhere. So you can see how I played with it. It's one of my favorite plugins for sound design. Okay, so we have reloading. Now let's go to the motor servo uh, rotation samples. Motor servo rotate metal plate impacts on metal. So this is basically just for handling noises with alter boy only. Pitch down by seven. Next one, this is motor servo again, but without alter boy. Yeah, it's just a short sample uh, of turning the plate. Next one, we have motor servo rotate again without any plugins. So this is just punishing the weapon while reloading. And again, we have minus seven. Just basic processing. Here we have open and close sample and motor servo again. Just as another layer for turning that knob or, yeah. 
I guess it's putting an ammo uh, on the gun. No processing. Here we have again servo and glass impacts. This is for another handling stuff, and it's pitched down by four. Okay, just simple things. This was for, yeah, for this moment. So for throwing down the shells, I guess. It's also from the servo and it's also pitched down. What do we have next? Ah, this is gunshot, so it's opening and, yeah, opening twice. So first sound is this, and second is the same. First one is a bit quieter, and here we have some magic. On this we have decapitator, doing... just what Decapitator does. Next, we are sending it to bus five. So this bus, bus six, we have another reverb. Different type of reverb, I guess, yeah. This is ambience type, this is plate type. So I like the plate character for such sci-fi sound designs and the last send is to bus 7 where we have fresh air getting uh, some mids and highs and supercharger just spicing up the sound. So this is the first shot layer and the second shot layer is with Alter Boy pitching down with some EQing cutting mids and with Max Bass giving some low end energy. Not some, but a lot. And the same, bus five, this one. Bus six, another reverb, and bus seven, fresh air and supercharger. So, mm, together, quite nice effect. What we have here? Open, close, four. Locking down something. Another handling uh, sound. So, uh, Alter Boy. Channel with Q Max Base. Ah, this is the same channel strip as I used for the second layer of the gunshot. So, the sci fi. Uh, aux, Jesus, vocal synth is amazing for this stuff, plate reverb and fresh air with supercharger. Next up, beeps and runs for ah, this one. So I wanted to do a something that sounds like a steam or similar white noise. So uh, this is the EQ I've done. We got the point. We have a stim, so we have a noise-like sounds. Next, another beep for... Okay, so maybe let's call it a um, weapon-ready indicator. So we have pitch shifting. 
dry and wet mixed and minus nine semitones and the enigma with the glass echoes uh, preset doing this so just delay like preset okay and the last two tracks are motor servo so this is another uh, reload layer we have only uh, linear EQ here doing this crazy stuff and the second one is uh, turning the this knob and with the same EQ together they sound like this so another reload layer ready and uh, as the last send, we are sending the bus 7 again to bus 6 for more played reverb effects. So let's listen to the whole mix now with all effects uh, active and all sends active. So I am happy with it. Uh, it really shows as I told you in the first video that and in the every sound design challenge video I made that uh, your only limitation is your imagination uh, that's my favorite quote from myself I guess I hope I hope you like this video I hope you enjoyed watching uh, my mix and session the construction and I encourage you to find some unusual things to make another unusual sounds remember to leave a like subscribe use the comment section to tell me what you think about all this video and this sound design and until next time